Hey, welcome everyone. My name is Isaac GG, and uh, thank you for your support and your interest in getting this modern reshade preset. So today I would like to do a tutorial video on how to install this shader, since some of you had some troubles installing it. Um, I'm gonna guide you step by step uh, to make your game look great. So uh, this shader only works with the DirectX 11, or also with the DirectX 12, also known as D912 PXY from the Add-on Manager. However, this shader does not work with the current DirectX 9, so you'll have to stick to either DirectX 11 or the DirectX 12 in order to make it work. And uh, if you're using DirectX 11, then just make sure that you'll have that DirectX 11 enabled in-game. So if you open up the install manual which comes with the pack, you will first need to download Reshade on reshade.me. Just click on download and uh, get the latest version which is uh, 4.9 and uh, if you're using DirectX 11 you can actually skip this part and for those that use ArcDPS or Radio Mount or also DirectX 12 uh, you will first need to download uh, the add-on manager alright for this part just select the add-on you want and then hit update to install them after it's completed you can now close it next step will be the reshade setup which you just download it from the reshade.me website. Now click here to select a game, blah 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 blah. Now let's browse for Guild Wars 2, which is uh, by default located in program file slash Guild Wars 2. Now make sure to select the second one, which is direct 3D 10 slash 11 slash 12. Now, at this step, we're going to select everything except for the shaders that are listed on the right screen. Now let's hit OK and it will download those shaders for you. Now we're almost there, so at this step we need to copy the content from the folder you just downloaded from the website. Make sure it's the reshade shaders folder, daytime.ini, uh, nighttime, underwater, and reshade.ini. So these files you need to copy paste them into the Guild Wars 2 folder. Alright, so if you see the little sun icon at the bottom right corner, that means uh, you've done everything correctly and uh, it's working. Now there's one more thing we need to do before we hop into the game. Just open up the menu settings, go to graphics settings. And now make sure that post-processing is turned off, so none. And also make sure to have your interface uh, size set to small. And it might actually help you to adjust the shader preset if you set your in-game clock to turn time. Now if you press I button in game it will turn on the inventory but also at the same time it will turn off the shader temporarily. And if you press it again it will reverse that action and actually the turn the shader on back on and uh, close the inventory. Now you can switch the shader preset by pressing page down or page up button uh, to switch to daytime or nighttime mode, also on a water mode. Now I hope this tutorial video helped you installing this reshader pack. Um, if you're still having some troubles, feel free to join us on Discord and uh, from there I can offer you a life guide on the support channel. For now, have fun with the new shader and talk to you in the next video.
dragon. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so vulnerable. <laughs> 